In this video, I'm going to show you some math notation that you need to understand in order to understand certain proofs. And this is the most basic math notation, just really basic stuff that is going to help you tremendously if you're trying to learn to write proofs. So math notation. And so by a set, we mean a collection of objects. So if A is a set, uh, we, it's a collection of objects. For example, we can write A as A equals the set containing the numbers 1, 3, and 5. That would be an example of a collection of numbers, 1, 3, and 5. I said objects because sets can contain anything, not just numbers. We're interested in specific sets mainly in what we're going to be doing. So for example, here are, this is the set of real numbers. These are the real numbers. You might be familiar with it in this fashion. R is the interval from negative infinity to infinity. So you may have seen that perhaps in algebra or in a calculus course. Um, so this is just a different way to write. Uh, this is the interval notation for that set. Another very important set that we're going to be looking at is the set of integers, which is this one here. This is the set containing negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. All the integers, positive, negative, and 0 as well. Okay, so when we're proving things, um, oftentimes we have to indicate that we have elements that are inside these sets. So how do we indicate that? So let's take it a step further. To do that, we need more math symbols. So there's a couple symbols uh, you should know. First of all, uh, this symbol here, if I say x is in the set of integers, that's what this means. x is in the set of integers, right? x is an element of the set of integers, it is a member of that set. That means x could be any of these numbers, okay? Let's look at a concrete example. So let's look at a, a definition. Uh, the definition is the following. Uh, we'll say an integer n is even if there exists an integer k such that n is equal to 2 times k. So if we can write it in that fashion, it's going to be even. That's what it means uh, for an integer uh, to be even. Okay, so let's just say um, that we say a is the set of all even integers. So if we take an element x in A, what does that imply? That implies that x is equal to 2k for some k and z, right? So getting used to this kind of thing, understanding this, uh, is uh, basically what I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, just you know, this, what this means, this symbol, when you see it used in proofs, um, and this is an example of uh, how to use a definition and what, what a set is. So here A is the set of all even integers. So if we were to take an element X and A, that would mean that X is equal to 2K for some K and Z. By the way, this implication goes both ways for those of you that are paying attention uh, or maybe already knew that. <laughs> um, I just noticed, but it does go both ways. So this means X is even. What does it mean to be even? It means X is an A because A is the set of all even integers. So that type of thing uh, is very useful. There's way more notation in math. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, this. And one more thing. Um, yeah, no, I think that's it. I think that's good for this video. I hope this has been helpful and hopefully you've enjoyed. I hope this has been helpful and hopefully you've enjoyed this really cool piece of mathematics. Some math notation that will help you when writing proofs. Very useful. Take care.